you think? Good. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday morning, May 28th, 2019. I almost said Monday. Uh, I was off Monday. Yesterday was uh, Memorial Day. And uh, ready to just kick some ass today. I'm tired. I was up uh, pretty late last night. I've only got about five hours of sleep. And Sophie was up in the middle of the night. But uh, it was a good, uh, good night. Grant uh, became regular yesterday or last night when we were at home. He went potty two times. And that's a good thing. It's a real good thing. So he stayed dry last night. I was able to do some watercolor painting last night. Not a whole hell of a lot, but uh, I did test out my master skin tone recipe number 43. And uh, I like it. Works pretty well. I had to do like two coats. Um, I'll show you guys some more of that a little, little bit later. But uh, I need to get into work, get this day started. I'm um, probably going to be doing a little bit more um, watercolor painting today. And just working on the same stuff that I was doing all last week. Um, today's Tuesday already. Um, tonight, Grant does not have a game. His game this week is on Thursday. And then um, I think tomorrow, or I know, tomorrow I'm going over by Nikki's. Thursday's the game. And then, um, Friday, what's going on? Oh, the, this weekend I'm going to be hanging out with Nikki, but she's going to be spending the night with her mom or something. So, we're just going to get to hang out, but we're not really going to get to do too much, so that sucks. Um, yeah, we had an awesome weekend. Just awesome. I didn't do a ton of video uh, recording and stuff like that over the weekend. But uh, it was it was a great time. It was a good time. So we went to the lake. We did nearly everything. We played tennis. We rode the four wheelers, the ATVs. We went out on the boat. We played a little bit of baseball. We um, sat out on the deck. We played little video games. We even did karaoke yesterday. And uh, you know we had two days, two full days of sunshine, and that was really cool. Uh, yesterday was doom and gloom rain and, and all that sort of stuff, but uh, yeah, it was it was really nice. So uh, I need to get into work though, so stay tuned. All right, guys, just to show you my first, this will be my very first watercolor Polaroid. I'm going to first work through all of the um, images that I had uh, painted and stuff in my sketchbook so I'm just gonna start with this one here I really like it. it's really simple it's just two colors Prussian blue and scarlet and that's what I started working on last night so um, I had grabbed I had paint left over in my easel here <clears throat> and I grabbed these two colors on this left side and I needed to grab these two colors so that's why these two look different but um, I'm going to go ahead and paint over this one with these colors. A little bit more pronounced than this. This looks nice. This is It's pretty. But uh, not what I was going for. I wanted more something like that. Um, probably what I'll do is I'll paint a bunch of these skylines. And then go back and do all the ink at one time. So I'll do like all of this sort of stuff. Um, this one here. So this is one that I sent Nikki's mom. This was um, practice for some of the other paintings that I did that I sent to like Jess and stuff. These are my notes. I started watercolor painting back in November. Um, some colors, color swatch tests and stuff. So it was all fun. I was like, leave, make like I was doing a um, log of everything that I was doing in terms of training and stuff. But yeah. So. It's kind of interesting just looking back and seeing how far I've gone. But uh, it's time to get to it. So these will be, I'm going to, the idea is this is a 60 page notebook of watercolor paper, 110 pound paper. I'm going to do two per page, the same image. So it'll be more practice. But then what I can do is I can cut one of these out and send it off to somebody to give and keep one for my records. 
So that's kind of going to be the plan. So I'll just be flipping through this book. Um, what I kind of thought might be fun is if I can do enough of these, like 50 or more, I could send one with Grant in his lunch every day next year. So you can kind of see how I blocked off the uh, Polaroid size so that way I can cut it out. Um, probably what I'll do is these inner border lines, I won't um, draw as pronounced. But three and a half inch wide by 4.25 inches tall. And then I'm just going to put some notes on here. Paint that I use, date, and the number, uh, Polaroid number. So this is number one.
All right, here is number three. Um, pretty much finished. It's just a basic sunset type of landscape. This one uses three colors. Let's see if I can get the... This is number two. Um, this used only two colors, and it's actually the only... It's all one color, so all of this but the sun. The sun was yellow. I'm sorry, it was Gam Gamboge, however you pronounce that, but um, kind of a different take on what I had come up with, but I really like the idea of using one color in kind of doing an entire image with just one color paint. I don't know, I guess it's called monochromatic. Um, I technically probably could have made that um, sun all one color too and just gradated it. But uh, yeah, so there you go. One, two, and three.